Let's look at question 77, combinations. In that question, you will be given two int input. First is the n and the second is k. The question let you to return all the possible combinations of k numbers out of the range from 1 to n. Let us see the example 1. n is 4, k is 2. So k is 2 means each combination is a, have a k, have a 2 number. right? So for the, all the combination from 1 to 2, the two combination is 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3, 4, right? Okay, let's start to coding. This is a, a traditional backtrack question. So we defined the backtrack help function first, and in that function, we have the return value, and we also have a <coughs> sorry about the return value should be the double list. And we also need to have the list uh, integer buffer, which can hold the current combination and uh, start point n and uh, k. So here we give the definition for return value linked list and uh, call the backtrack function and uh, one and k finally return the value <coughs> in here if buffer size is k, this means we are done. So in that one, we need to uh, add uh, the combination into return. Otherwise, we will do the loop from start point end okay so buffer add i1 and buffer remove the last one between add and remove we have the Backtrack function recursive. Okay, try it. Does it work? Okay, this work too. However, here we can do some optimization. The reason is uh, so for from example one, we see from this point the i1 did not need to go into to the end because uh, we have a k numbers so we need to define end one so end one will related the k and uh, here we also need to add the buffer line and the plus one okay let us try again do it it's much better than previous one. See? Yeah. Uh, for the current complexity for this question, so we know that is related to the uh, factorial. So what is the how, what is sign is the, So we need to do is a take a look that one is related to the uh, um, Same 
Thank you for watching the video. Thank you again.